The story of our first painting is very mysterious, but also very sad. The original title of the painting is Portrait van Giovanni Arnolfini en zijn vrouw, meaning Portrait of Giovanni Arnolfini and his wife. This painting depicts Giovanni Arnolfini, a wealthy banker, raising his hand to swear an oath while making a promise to his wife. The painting was later interpreted as a marriage vow. However, Mr. Arnolfini probably just wanted to strike a noble pose as if greeting the guests. There is a sad detail here. Costanza, who is supposed to be the bride, actually died a year before this painting was painted. So this painting is in his memory. The position of this couple holding each other's hands is very meaningful. Arnolfini's holding the open hand is interpreted as Arnolfini still holding on to her while his life is slipping away. The gargoyle in the background is a creature often used in Gothic architecture and symbolizes death. Another striking detail about the hands is that Costanza holds the folded part of her dress over her stomach, an allusion to her pregnancy. Perhaps they wanted to include their imagined baby in the painting. The prayer beads that look like rosary beads hanging on the wall to the left of the mirror are a sign of piety. Another symbol is the dog on the floor. Although it looks like an ordinary dog, it is known to represent marital fidelity. The dog standing at the feet of the woman implies that one is faithful to her like a dog. The figure of St. Margaret standing by the bedside next to Costanza is another detail that symbolizes childbirth. If we combine these two clues, it may indicate that Costanza died during pregnancy or childbirth. The oranges on the floor and in front of the window next to Arnolfini symbolize love and marriage, as well as the innocence of Adam and Eve before they were expelled from paradise. Let's get closer to the chandelier and mention one more crucial detail. The candle above Arnolfini's head is still burning, while the one on Costanza's side is melted, emphasizing his death. In the mirror on the wall, we see that the painter includes himself in the reflection and shares the pain of his Frian Arnolfini. We can actually call it the first selfie. Along with the date of the painting on the mirror, he wrote in Latin, Johannes van Eyck fuit hic. That is, Jan van Eyck was here and placed his signature on the wall above the mirror in the painting. The painter's brush strokes are too small to be noticed. It is one of the first oil paintings. Only a rich banker could have commissioned this painting at that time. The painting was stolen and lost several times throughout its history. During World War II, it was looted by Germany and later brought back.